So I wanted to talk to you guys today about repentance and, you know, how important it is to repent and how to repent. Because most times when you hear about repentance, it's like just asking God to forgive you. But it's really more than just asking for forgiveness. It's knowing in your heart that what you are doing is not pleasing to the Father and actually turning away from it. So in um, Proverbs twenty-eight thirteen, it says, Whoever conceals their sins does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. So a few of the important things are to actually confess your sins. And in the KJV dictionary, confess means to acknowledge, just to acknowledge a fault or a debt. So it's really important to acknowledge the thing that you have done, the sin that you have done, and then also to renounce it, meaning to disown, to disclaim, to reject, to refuse to own or acknowledge as belonging to you. And just to prosper, we all know that to prosper means to be successful, to increase, and we all want that for our lives. So it's just important to actually do that. Like when you confess your sins, know in your heart that you aren't going to go back to it and just allow it to be a repetitive cycle in your life. And of course, like some things, like some sins you really need to be delivered from. Sometimes you may fall back into it, but God knows like when you are really trying and when you are just willingly falling into sin because you know that he's going to forgive you when you ask for forgiveness. Um, so that's just something that I wanted to share with you guys, because a lot of times when I hear about, you know, repenting, I hear people saying like, oh, you just have to ask for forgiveness. And that was even like what I was taught, just ask for forgiveness. But it's really so much more than just asking for forgiveness. God, like the Lord, he's always ready to forgive us, but we have to be willing to actually renounce these things and turn away from them. And um, like we know like the specific things that we do as well. So it's good for us, us to actually like acknowledge these things and be like, Lord, I know that this, this and this is wrong and I choose not to go back to it. Or you just like I need help like breaking this off of my life because I want to live righteously for you. So that's all that. I really was studying, but I definitely think that you guys should meditate on that scripture, Proverbs 23, 13.